Hello and welcome, my name is Eric Strack and this is TradeShift Pay in under 5 minutes. Now TradeShift we know that happy suppliers mean happy buyers. So our first stop today will be first invoice onboarding where you'll see how TradeShift is simplified, made it faster, better and cheaper than ever before to connect your suppliers to TradeShift. Next, we'll demonstrate how we can empower your suppliers to inquire and collaborate with your teams through the TradeShift platform. Let's take a look. The Relationship Manager app makes it easier for you to associate incoming PDF documents with connected suppliers on the network. Here we can see a user navigating the network to connect a supplier based on this information that it's pulled out of the PDF document. The next step is to select key phrases from this document that will associate this document with the correct supplier on TradeShift. So now I'm selecting the sender's name and the sender's country as the two defining characteristics so that any invoices now coming in with that name and from that country will now be correctly associated with the proper connection on the TradeShift network, all before the supplier has been asked to do anything differently. Now let's change gears and take a look at how self-service inquiry and collaboration works. We're now watching a supplier as they navigate to an invoice and open up the collaboration window. They can then reach out to someone on your team asking them for information about this document. Because this information lives alongside this document, this cuts out the need for messy emails as well as creating an audit trail because all this information will live alongside this document on the platform. In this visualization we can see as we move from left to right from digitize to automate. We just saw the activation services and first invoice onboarding. We then see the TradeShift integration technologies allowing your suppliers to connect with you through various methods. And now we're going to spend some time in Automate showing the business firewall as well as the AP automation functionalities. TradeShift's main focus in the Automate section is to create more straight through processing. That's the idea that an invoice can come into your system through the checks and balances on TradeShift and go straight to your payment processing system without human intervention. Let's demonstrate through invoice submission and business firewall before going into the non-PO invoice auto-coding, before matching exceptions and collaboration in the system. So now we're back in as a supplier on the TradeShift platform. Suppliers can easily navigate to any received purchase orders from your organization. They can then navigate to that, opening it up, and do an easy PO flip. What we're going to demonstrate here, though, is the business firewall. The business firewall are rules set up by you and your organization to make sure that all the required information is included on each invoice that comes into the system. As they flip this uh, PO into an invoice, we can then see that in this example a person reference has been required. If they decide to leave this blank, it will automatically tell the supplier that this is a required field and block them from being able to send this before filling in that information. Next up, we're going to demonstrate here how TradeShift can help auto-code invoices without purchase orders using artificial intelligence. ADA, TradeShift's artificial intelligence, will learn from your users as they code non-purchase order invoices and start suggesting coding over time. As you become confident with ADA's ability to suggest coding, you can change the threshold allowing ADA to take full responsibility for coding, freeing up your team to work on more strategic initiatives. Transitioning now from your supplier to your buying organization, we're going to take a look at what exceptions look like in the system. We can see here that a price discrepancy has been created. The user can then take a look at all the matched lines with any associated documents. They then might want to open up a conversation internally as opposed to the external conversation we saw before. We're now watching the user as they speak with someone inside the organization asking about this price discrepancy. Once again, all of this chat communication was going to live alongside this document for as long as this document's inside TradeShift. They can then open up another separate communication with the supplier. Those lines of communication are never going to cross. Your suppliers are not going to see your internal conversations but both will live alongside this document for as long as it's in the system. So with TradeShift Pay today, we covered the e-invoicing, the collaboration and onboarding, and AP automation offerings from TradeShift. But that's not all. TradeShift offers an innovative virtual credit card solution from Amex and Visa to help track and manage your tail spend. We also offer a B2B marketplace experience for you to purchase from your suppliers or become the curator of a private marketplace. And last but not least, supplier financing with embedded invoice financing through our partner, HSBC. Thank you for joining me on this whirlwind tour. If you have any questions, reach out to your TradeShift representative.